everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a video, so thank you for tuning in again. Um, today I'm going to do my March favorites. And I have, I think I have a good amount of products this month, from skincare to hair products, to some fashion bits, and makeup, a little bit of everything. So if you want to find out my favorites for this month, please keep watching. And you know what, I think we're going to start with hair. As you can see, I've dyed my hair a little bit different. Um, I like to call it my my little pony hair. I have some like grayish purple tones in it, and there's like some turquoise in the back. We're gonna go towards kind of like a lavender gray eventually, but this is kind of in the middle. So to keep my hair nice and healthy throughout the bleaching process, not only do my um, hair stylist use amazing products, um, but I also have been using this Giovanni hair mask. It is a cruelty-free brand, a really, really good organic brand too, and it is a deep repair for critically damaged hair. Um, it looks like this. I just picked this up at Marshalls. You can find Giovanni products on uh, Vitacost too if you want to order it online, but you can also find them sometimes at Marshalls and Winners here in Canada. But it re-energizes tired, damaged hair, it encourages thickness and volume, and it fills in porous hair with rich proteins. So what I do is after I shampoo my hair, I put this mask all the way through my hair from um, the roots to the, to the tips, and I leave it on throughout the rest of my shower. So about like seven to 10 minutes, I let it soak in and then I just rinse it off and honestly it feels the same way as if um, I did my coconut oil mask which I usually do about once a week too and I leave that overnight and it just makes your hair feel so soft, so moisturized and it protects my hair because I do, I do a lot of coloring to it. Um, I try not to do a lot of like heat try not to get a lot of heat damage, but I do still curl my hair, I do strain it, and this just, it really helps if you have dry damaged hair. I highly suggest this product. All right, so let's move on to skincare. So same thing, I do have dry skin as well, and here in Edmonton, uh, I'm sure throughout <laughs> the Northern Hemisphere, we've had a crazy winter. It's been uh, cold and then warm, then cold and warm, and my skin has been going crazy. It ha I have dry patches, it's just itchy and red, and it's just been going crazy. So I have been going to my origins. This is the high, pot high potency vitamins mineral enriched renewal cream, and I got this in one of those trial sample kits that you can get at around Christmas time. It comes with a bunch of their like best-selling products and I wanted to test out Origins skincare because everybody says that they're amazing and they are. They are incredible. So this is what the cream looks like. It is a thick, thick white cream. It smells citrusy. It feels amazing when you put it on your skin. When I wake up the next morning, I can still, like, I can see that it's seeped in into my skin because my skin feels soft and supple it looks radiant and it doesn't feel itchy and that is the biggest thing for me because my I, I have eczema and I have eczema on my face especially around my nose and a little bit on my um, chin area and this doesn't like this doesn't affect it at all I get a lot of products if it has any fragrance in it at all it will exasperate my eczema and this doesn't this calms it down and that is amazing for me so I love this product. If you have dry skin, I really recommend the Origins line and it has worked incredible over this winter. Uh, I think it might be a little bit too thick for me for summer, so I might switch this out to their the Ginseng one. It's a little bit lighter, but for winter this has been amazing. Alright, so we're going to move on to the makeup bits. So I was watching Wayne Goss, who I think it is amazing, amazing makeup artist, and he was showing um, the trick to do with your concealer. So you put on concealer and you use like a high definition white powder with your beauty blender and you just pack it on and then you wipe off the excess and it makes the creasing 
less. It makes you crease less under your eyes. So I've been doing that and it has worked amazingly well. I, my creasing has been almost non-existent since I've been doing that. So amazing, amazing person to follow here on YouTube is Wayne Goss. And I've, the powder I've been using is my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. Now the packaging is gross and dirty because it's like that, that like rubberized, the same as like NARS, like those kind of packaging. So it gets gross and gunky. But the powder itself is so amazing. It's so finely milled. It's that white powder there. Like when you, it feels like so, like it's a silicone. I'm sure that it's silicone because it's just, it fills in the lines. It feels amazing on. And when you put it on, like I have it on today, and when you put it on, like you can't see, it blurs out the lines, it makes your skin feel so smooth, and I love it. For this container, $6, you can still find e.l.f. here in Canada, now that Target's gone. Um, some giant tigers have it, and I did see it at London Drugs as well, so we can still get e.l.f. products here. And this is a great deal. Like this, um, people have been comparing it on e.l.f., like the e.l.f. reviews, to the Makeup Forever. So it is a great, great powder if you want to use it. Um, it does give a little bit of reflect for flash photography. But, I mean, for every day, it's a great powder. So I really have been enjoying that. And to kind of go hand in hand with my concealer combo with that powder, I've been um, using my NYX, um, the HD Concealer. And this one is in CW02 in Fair. There you are. So this is actually light enough for me and it takes, I usually have to mix like a white <laughs> product, like a white almost clown makeup with my concealers to make them light enough for underneath my eyes. But this is like a, a perfect color for me and I am happy. I picked this up when I was in the States last time. Because I, I don't know why, I just, I don't know, I hadn't found it here in Canada at that point. And I just opened this up um, a couple of weeks ago because I ran out of my other one. And I've been loving it. It is, yeah, it is a wonderful concealer. It's thick, it's creamy, it covers really well. It's just, I really, really like this. So I think this will probably be my go-to concealer. I was really sad that I couldn't because like Maybelline the Maybelline used to be my go-to concealer and I'm not gonna purchase them this one anymore so I'm happy I found this one so I highly recommend this for an under eye concealer it works so so well that's a great one so move on to my cheek combination that I've been loving loving this month so we'll start with contour so contour is all the hype right now I love it. I love me some cheekbones. I just, I die for them. So what I've been really enjoying is my Kevin O'Quan, my medium sculpting powder. This powder is beautiful as I drop it. It's gorgeous. It is such a good tone for my skin. I was, when I first looked at it, when I first picked it up, I was scared because I thought it would be so dark on me. Yeah, but it is a beautiful color. Even for us pale girls, it is a really, really nice, cool tone color. And that's what I have on today as my contour. That's the color I have on, and I just, I adore it. It has worked so well. It doesn't go ashy, and I just, I love it. It blends out really nicely. It is an amazing product, and it, it comes in its own little pouch, which packaging right that it gets us all so been really enjoying that as my blush I've been reaching for my Too Faced this little um, sweethearts blush this is the perfect flush brush blush <laughs> in candy glow and this is kind of like the pinky corally one and I just take my brush and I sweep it in all of them and it comes up with like a nice little Sparkly. I don't know if my lights are going to be able to. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that very well. But it comes with like a nice little like sparkly cotton candy pink and it's so nice for spring. It just 
because it has like that uh, little bit of highlight in it too, it just lightens up your face and livens it up. So I've been really, really liking that for moving into springtime. I think I'm going to keep using this in April. I've just been really, really enjoying it. And I think these are on sale too in Ulta for everyone in the States. I think you could have, like, this past month, they were on for $15, so still. And for my highlight, I have, I've been having a love affair with this highlight for such a long time, but all month of March, I could not stop using this. I usually go between all my highlighters because I am, I think that is, that's the thing I can't stop buying is highlighters. I, yeah, I just love them so much. But my MAC Soft and Gentle. This highlighter is just, it is everything to me. I thought I was a Mary Luminizer person. Was it Mary? Yeah. I thought I was a Mary Luminizer person. No. MAC Soft and Gentle is, is my favorite. This highlighter is just so gorgeous. It is like the perfect pink champagne color. It is gorgeous. I just love it. Like, I am... I don't care how much highlight I have on, it's just never enough. Like, look at that. Look at that sheen right there. Ugh. So this, all month, all month, I've been putting this on. And I will forever purchase this thing. Like, it's just... I don't know. I haven't even made that much of a dip on it. And I literally have been going to this every, every day. So, this mixed with the Kevin Aquan and a little bit of that, like, soft pink to die for to die for. Been loving that. All right, so let's move on to eyes. So for eyes, it's been it's been a good month because I've been doing some different looks. I have some get ready with me and some tutorials that I have planned. I'm going to put out in April. Um, some really interesting looks I'm really excited for. But I've been playing around with my ColourPop shadows and I've been loving them. I was really scared to work with them when I first got them because I just, I didn't have any ideas. But I've been falling in love with them and especially this set. This is the Better Than a Sweater set and it's like the set isn't for sale anymore but the colors in it are and especially these two. Like this one is a maze. This is more of like a a coppery color. This is just the most gorgeous copper and like just putting this on and then buffing out a brown in the crease such an easy look and it looks amazing on. It looks is so stunning. These shadows are incredible to work with. They're so easy, just amazing. And they're $5 each. And if you can get them when they have their sales, because I know they just had another sale for their set, such a good deal. And the second one that I've been enjoying so much is Bay. Yeah, Bay. This one is the Duo Chrome. So it goes from that blue teal to like the ready brown. So it's kind of like a peacocky color. And this one I also love. This one I wear a lot to work because it's just, it's such a unique color and it just, it looks so good on the lid. It looks beautiful. So I've been really enjoying playing around with these shadows and I just really, really love them. I foresee me buying more from ColourPop, especially when Kathleen Light's her collection comes out. I will definitely be buying those. Okay, so we move on to the last two makeup things. They're lip products. So another one is from ColourPop, and it's their lippy stick. This one is in Skimpy. This is a glossy formula. And I forever have been looking for the perfect nude for me because I am so pale, I, but I do want something that's going to cancel out my lip color and just be a nice pale for nude, for a nice nude for pale skin. That's what I was trying to say. And this is it. Like this is a perfect color for us pale girls. Like it's just a perfect, perfect nude. So that's what it is. It's like a peachy, peachy nude. It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. And it works really well if you're doing a smoky, dramatic eye. If you just want to do something really simple too. Like if I am doing like a brown smoky eye, which I do most days, I'll throw this on with a little bit of gloss. Beautiful. I've been using this with Stone um, Liner from MAC. Putting that on first and this over top for getting more of that kind of like a gray color for your lips. Works wonderful. This is just a really, really nice color to work with. It works so well. 
It's kind of like along those lines of MAC Myth where you can just, you can use it as a blending for so many different looks and it's just a really, really nice color. I've been enjoying that one a lot. Next one, I just purchased this a week and a half ago, but it is already one of my favorites. It is one of these NYX Glam lip glosses. I've never had one of these before. This one is in, does that have a color that I can tell? Oh no, it is, sorry, Beat Goes On. That's the color. GLG03 Beat Goes On. And it's just like this soft peach with lots of glitter. I love this one too for right now because it, with my lip color, makes it go like a soft pink and just with lots of sparkle. It just, it's so nice. And I've been doing like um, purpley smoky eyes a lot too lately. And with this on my lips, it just looks so good for spring. So I've been loving this. And these feel amazing on the lips as well. They're not super sticky where you're like your lips stick together and it's just not a good, not good at all. Really nice. I've been really enjoying that. And yeah, I'm gonna probably pick up more of these because I like the formula a lot. So that's it for my makeup and skincare and everything like that. I have a couple um, jewelry and fashion bits I wanna share with you. So the first one is what I'm wearing right now. This is a bracelet that I just grabbed a couple weeks ago from a little boutique on the west end of Edmonton. It's a House of Harlow Talon bracelet. It is so gorgeous. I love funky, unique pieces like this. And I just, I fell in love with it when I saw it and I had to have it. <laughs> Which is not always good, but it's just, it, I don't know. It's very me and I just love it to death. So that's the first one that I've been loving. I think it's just, it speaks for itself to me. It's just, it's gorgeous. Second piece of jewelry is just, is this necklace here. So it's a long necklace. And then it just has like this pink stone at the end. And I've been loving wearing this with my t-shirts. Just a plain t-shirt. I'll put this on with the next piece of clothing that I'll show you. Wearing that with some boots. Love the look. And this I picked up um, from Newell on White Ave. They have amazing unique pieces of jewelry. And I just, I adore this piece. So. I like, I'm into simple jewelry. I used to be into uh, statement pieces, but right now I'm into nice, dainty, simple jewelry. So really am enjoying those two pieces. And so the last piece is I've been wanting some ripped jeans, but a specific look and they had to fit my body exactly how I wanted. So I, I've been on the look for so long and I don't know, I found them at American Eagle, I, of all places. So these are the American Eagle, what is their name? They're the Tom Girl jeans. So this is what they look like. So they have the rips and they are cuffed. So they do sit the perfect, like just above your ankle, they sit perfectly. They fit so well. Um, you would probably size two sizes down like what you normally get and the butt like that they are such a nice boyfriend jean fit like they they're not too baggy they still make you look like you have a nice butt and they have a girl figure they're just they're so comfortable and I love that they have their button up they just look so good with t-shirt boots um I have some nice like mules they just look really good with everything and I'm looking forward to warmer weather so I can rock these so those are my March favorites. I, I'm looking forward to spring, warm weather, getting in, more inspired, and putting out some more videos for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.